please excuse the sun, you guys. It's impossible to avoid it at the moment. It's a weird part of the day. You look like a, you have a mustache. <laughs> Thanks, Al. Um, at the moment, I'm having pretty bad cramping in my side, and my back hurts really, really bad. Um, last night, I, we were out like shopping, out and about and stuff. Last night we were out shopping and my legs hurt so bad. Like the mu all the muscles in my legs were killing me. Oh my god, my back. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys because I just got off the phone with my dog. I ended up calling my doctor because I was kind of getting a bit worried. And he does. He said it doesn't sound like a, a, a neat, like a concern at the moment. What I'm describing to him, but like if any other symptoms he told me about happen like to give them a call back um so I ended up calling TJ I ended up calling my mom like the people who need to know like when I'm going into labor um just to kind of just let them know and be on guard because like this is really really bad back pain and then I'm like having these cramps um so I'm just I'm a little nervous my eyelashes might be falling off because I was crying earlier I just want to update you guys because I've been, you know, obviously doing the pregnancy diaries and everything and I just, <sighs> ouch. So I'll let you guys know if there's like any other changes. Good morning, everybody. So to kind of give you an update about yesterday, I truly thought I was go <laughs> going into labor. Um, I, you know, I explained everything. I was really short of breath. Um, I was having like severe back pain and cramping so i called my doctor and they said there there really should be like nothing to worry about but regardless i ended up spending the day at my mom's just in case um i ended up falling asleep on the couch while i was there because ella helped her like make dinner so i took like a quick power nap which was much needed but today we're home um originally i was gonna go to work for a little bit but we're dealing with another like kind of snowstorm you can see my trampoline the roads are really nasty and stuff so i said well i'm so i texted my brother and i said i'm not gonna come in today because of the roads i said but i'll be in all day tomorrow like literally all day tomorrow and i'll just bang out what i was gonna do today tomorrow as well so see i'm like completely out of breath right now and all i'm doing is holding my phone <laughs> Um, so today we're gonna spend the day. Um, I have some cleaning to do. You can see like some towels over here I'm gonna throw in the washing machine um, We worked on the living room some more so I'll show you a little bit of that um, We're probably gonna crack into some of Ella's Christmas presents as well a little later And then I think somebody is actually coming to pick up the stove later today TJ put it on the marketplace and got like <laughs> so many messages within like 20 minutes so we're gonna sell this today um just for cheap um so i think a woman's supposed to be coming by to pick that up later when he gets home so um it's gonna be a casual day but i'll still bring you guys around even mr arrow is having a casual day hanging with us inside but what's miss ella up to oh she's she's putting the second coats on her little horses right yeah, do you remember their names? Um, well, you're working on Chickalinda, right? Mm hmm And bo just, Boomerang? Yeah. And Spirit? Yeah, you, I just did another call on Chickalinda yesterday when I was at Mimi's. Yeah, you did? Mm -hmm. And Ella's wearing her little unicorn dressed up outfit too, right? Mm hmm <laughs> We took off the gloves so that she could paint. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, like I said, just do some kind of crafts today. Um, but I am super excited. I got my curtains up as well, and I feel like they really pulled the living room together. I think they look really, really nice. Um, got the carpet still down. Inside the legs. Yeah, some really small areas, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited with the way that the um, living room is turning out. I also bought this, which TJ's going to help me hang. And I got to get like a plant for it as well. 
You okay? Yeah. <laughs> so this is like little miscellaneous toys and papers. I'm gonna be spending okay. my time picking up. <laughs> and I desperately wanted to get my nails done over the weekend, but that just never really ended up happening. My I can get you a paper towel. One thing that I really wanted to do today, <laughs> I'm up by my cabinets, yes, because I have this cabinet that is full of sippies and quite frankly, bottles, well not bottles, but like cups that don't have covers anymore. So I need to make room for some of Hunter's um, bottles that I showed you guys in one of my previous vlogs. So I am going to spend some time emptying out this thing, see what actually matches, um, get rid of what I don't need anymore, make some room. So that's my next project for like 15 minutes. This thing was covered in, um, hello, Oop, uh, cups and containers and stuff. I gotta get a new one of these at like the dollar store or something. But these are just like the lids. I kept anything that had a cover, um, I kept up here for her and then I'm gonna put Hunter's bottle. So I already had this Avent one from when I did my baby registry. Now, oh my lord, oh my pineapple. This thing was awesome by the way. I used it the other day and uh, I kept my drink like super cold. So now I can take, obviously I'm gonna clean out these bottles before we, they're used, but just to give them a home, I can go ahead and put these in here. So like I said, it's like it's like a bittersweet moment because yes, I'm getting rid of my daughter's bottles, but now I'm putting in new ones for a new adventure, you know? <laughs> what the heck are you doing? You're gonna break them if you hold them like that, honey. Ella, do you want to try this hair chalk thing? You think you want to try this today? Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch over to my better camera just so we have a tripod and we're going to try this thing out. So, this is the hair chalk studio. We're going to try it out today. Seems pretty simple, but... Oh, I should probably grab scissors. <laughs> okay. So, it comes with four hair chalk markers and it comes um, with a stencils, the back. stickers, all right let's see. It comes with four hair chalk markers. We have a pink, purple, blue, and orange so you they're, can hold those for me. So they're all bright. It comes with this which is called a tattoo applicator. I'm not quite sure. Um, it looks like it comes with like a little heart hair accessory. It is. <laughs> This is a water transfer tattoo sheet. These are actually hair tattoos. Make sure your hair is dry. Cut out the tattoo you want to wear. Peel away the sheet. Place a tattoo on your hair and use the applicator tool to... My oh. hair's dry. Interesting. Okay, so we My might try dry, those. Actually. I know. Well, I and then the, this pack is our stencils. So I think you can either like free color um, if you wanted like a strand of hair to be a certain color or you can use these stencils um, and you would use the hair chalk markers to do that. And I want the butterfly actually. Okay. So I'm actually going to have Ella switch sides with me so you guys can see her hair a little bit better. So you sit on this side. I'll sit on this side. It's a little easier. We, so we do you want to start with a stencil or do you want to do a tattoo? 
our butterfly stencil. Yep. Where are the markers? Oh, it actually, and it comes with two sheets of stencils as well. Yeah, so you can do a lot of stuff. So I'm going to just take out the butterfly stencil so it's easier to work with. It's just a easy like peel off stencil. And then what color do you want to use for the butterfly? Uh blue and pink. Blue and pink. Okay. We need an outline. So you want it outlined in blue and then filled in with pink? Okay. Her hair is a bit wavy. It might work better if you had just straight hair, but I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna put it yeah, here. Yeah, I waked up really early. <laughs> okay, so you can't move on me. Okay, let me let me kind of prepare myself here. So I'm gonna just open up the caps first, and oh, that's what it looks like. Kind of a weird tip, I guess. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say to shake them or anything, so I don't think there's any of that preparation needed. But Miss Ella, I'm going to section off your hair. I'm just simply going to hold the butterfly stencil. I'm actually just going to hold it against her head. And then she wants the outline blue, so I'm going to start with the blue. Is it like a slime marker? It's kind of hard. Um... I have a feeling you just kind of want to go up and down with this. So that's what I'm going to start doing is just applying pressure up and down. I'm also trying to keep her hair from getting tangled. Alright, so I added a bit of the blue and now I'm going to try to fill the rest in with some pink. I'm having the best luck just kind of like going up and down, like picking up my brush and, and picking up the marker in strokes. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Let me see. So it doesn't really, uh, uh, it didn't come out a perfect butterfly, to be honest with you. Um, maybe if I pull this a little tighter. I, the color is definitely showing. Um, the problem is this marker is like super soft, like weirdly soft. Um, so, I mean, the color definitely showed up. Does it look like a butterfly? A little bit, but not as good as I wanted it to. Um, maybe we can do like a streak of color. Would you like a streak of color? What color do you want it to be? Rainbow. Rainbow. I guess we're doing all the colors. So I'm going to take just like a little <clears throat> piece of hair here yeah. and try coloring this. I'm going to try all four colors. So we're going to start at the top. Don't even think about it. <laughs> okay, so we have some orange. So all the colors have shown up so far, and our last color is purple. Do you see the pink? I do see the pink. Okay, so we got the, the pink, blue, orange, and purple streak. We got some purple on the other side. It looks kind of cool. Like if, if she's like, you know what I mean? If it's down like this, it looks pretty cool. I don't know. It's it's just a fun little thing. Girlfriend. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to try the tattoos now. We obviously know that these work. Could they work probably better? Um, yeah. I mean, the stencils are okay. I don't think that they're like... Ta-da! Oh, beautiful. I see purple highlights. Um, you know, obviously the box is a little... Um, that's not what you're going to get. <laughs> right, and they have a little twist too, so you do actually get quite a bit of product in these. Oh, okay, you don't want to go back down though. Okay, I broke it. <laughs> I didn't actually break it, but the little twisty thing doesn't want to work. You want to try a tattoo? So why don't you pick out, where did I put the tattoos? Oh, I, I see. Okay. Do you see the little tattoo applicator? The little pink oh we're right here why is it stuck in your dress <laughs> what what is that can i open it let me see okay so this is what the tattoo applicator looks like a little bit different than the chalks but this says to what were the instructions again this says to make sure that your hair is dry cut out the tattoo that you want away and peel away the plastic sheet so so far it sounds like a regular 
tattoo. Oh, you don't even need to put those scissors back. <laughs> Place the tattoo on your hair and use a tattoo applicator to apply the tattoo design. How to use this? Unscrew the top and carefully fill the entire tube with water. Okay. Um, reapply the top of the applicator. Remove the cap and squeeze the tube gently <clears throat> to release the water. Oh, interesting. Okay, so first we're going to choose which tattoo. I want the butterfly. You want the butterfly one? Okay, it's hopefully. The rainbow. Hopefully, this one will be a little easier seen. So you get six tattoos to choose from. You don't even need scissors, sweetie. They have the little peel away things too. But I am going to run to the sink real quick so I can fill this up with water. So I'll be right back. Okay, not going to lie, that wasn't easy to take this little tip off, but I finally got it off. I filled it with warm water. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the top layer of plastic from this tattoo. Is it sticky? Um, no, it that's sticky. <laughs> no, it's just a tattoo. Where would you like it? On that side? Okay. How about you turn a little bit then so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Right here. Right here? Okay. Let me see. So, I'm just going to take her hair. A wide enough section for the tattoo to lay. And then I'm going to place the tattoo just like you would like a regular temporary tattoo on your skin. And then I'm going to squeeze this gently and start applying the water, which this does actually work really well. I'll just squeeze a little bit and the water is coming right out so there's no issues with this. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you in the mirror after, but yeah, it came out. Not perfectly, but it definitely came out, so that's pretty cool. You want to do another one on that side? Mm -hmm. But I will say I had to apply a ton of water and more pressure than you would expect. So now I she like wants the a plastic. diamond. That's fine. Do you want it right under the butterfly? Okay. I would maybe recommend doing these tattoos if like you had your hair up and because I'm seeing with this butterfly, like there's no way that you could like brush your fingers through that, you know, without ruining the design. So I think it'd be really cool if um, you have like pulled your hair back into a bun or like a ponytail or something and then applied this so it was like more stationary you know what I mean instead of just like keeping your hair down just a little thing that I'm noticing but it still looks really pretty when it's when your hair is down okay the diamonds also in her hair turn your head a little bit no just a little bit just a little bit. There you go. Again, not 100% perfect, but it's in there. It looks pretty cool, so you gotta let them dry. Do you wanna go take a look in the mirror? Mm-hmm. Right, go ahead. Hey, oh, oh, oh. You're not a voice. You're just ringing my ear. If I heard you, then no. So here's kind of another look at the little tattoos. What do you think? Go cool? nice. So was it a per perfect application? No. But I think it's really cute and I think it'd be really cute for like sleepovers when girls get together and like do their hair and stuff. Um, I think the idea was really really fun and she liked the outcome so that's all that matters. <laughs> Ella and I are still just relaxing. We decided to break into our light bright. And what one are we doing? It looks like a rainbow unicorn or something. She looks awesome so far so... That's what we got. <laughs> you still got your tattoos in your hair? Very nice. Just mopped the floor, got some chores done. Now we're just hanging out again.